This is the Slice Engineering Copperhead, and it aims to be a universal hotden for nearly every type of FFF 3D printer configuration out there. This hotden not only features modular heat brakes for ultimate compatibility, but the heat brakes are made of a bimetallic alloy. And by nature, this system can support printing at temperatures up to 450C. Let's break it down. Copper has a much higher melting point than aluminum, which means that the copperhead heater block made from copper alloy can reach a maximum temperature of 450C as long as the rest of the 3D printer's components are rated for such temperatures like thermistors, heater cartridges, and mounts. Each of the heat break variants are designed to fit the most popular iterations of hot end designs found in the 3D printer market. You can read about the specific compatibility of each heat break variant by checking out the product page on matterhackers.com. The copperhead is made of three separate components, the heater block, the heat break, and the optional heat sink. The same heater block is used in all configurations and is made of a nickel-plated copper alloy to prevent loose filament from sticking to the block. With multiple heat break options available, including the standard RepRap MK8 and MK10, you should be able to find an option that won't require major modification to install on your specific 3D printer. For hot end mounts you may have already designed, but want to utilize with all copperhead components, the groove mount heat sink is going to be the right choice. For those designing a new mount altogether, the Copperhead screw mount heat sink shortens the entire hot end to gain some print height back. Since either of these heat sinks utilize the smooth bore standard heat break variant, you are able to adjust the Z height of the nozzle with just one screw, which makes calibration easy and multi-extrusion systems breeze. Slice Engineering put the Copperhead through extensive testing while developing the bimetallic heat break. Using thermal imaging technology, Slice Engineering optimized the heat transfer from the heat break to the heat sink to ensure that heat stays in the heater block and quickly dissipates in the heat sink. This is all done in an effort to keep the filament in its ideal semi-liquid state and localized to the heater block. This virtually negates the troubling heat creep issue that can occur when soft plastic backs up into a heat sink and clogs the entire hot end system. Slice Engineering did their due diligence to create a beginner-friendly yet advanced hot end system in the form of the Copperhead. To learn more and to order yours today, go to matterhackers.com. Hey, thanks for watching that video on the Slice Engineering Copperhead Hot End. This thing is a beast and I cannot wait to see what comes out of it. To learn more about it, go to matterhackers.com and don't forget to subscribe.